The Chapman Group presents Best Practices for Developing Your SAM Program to be Best in Class. When you tune up your program, you should be thinking about five key areas. The first area is segmentation. Do I have the right accounts? The second area is people. Do I have the right team? The third is process. Do I have a set way to engage with the clients? The fourth area is knowledge. Do I have the ultimate amount of knowledge so I can effectively serve my top accounts? And the fifth and final area is measurements and metrics. Am I measuring the performance that I expect? We've already uh, covered the topics of segmentation and people. Today I'd like to speak a little more specific around what I think is also one of the more critical pieces of a, of a SAM program. Predictable, repeatable, and measurable events, activities, behaviors within the organization. Now, specifically with a SAM program, there are at least five processes that I want to make sure are really tuned up. The number one process is my relationship management process. And that's, that's really the process that, that I use for engaging with my top accounts. Uh, what's predictable, what's repeatable, what's measurable, and how our account team engages with our customer account team. And that I want to make sure that I measure that so that that's the behavior that I'm seeing throughout the organization. An example, uh, we use terminology around high, wide, and deep, that the relationship management process should have components of my team, uh, probably even delegated within my team, of who is uh, building relationships in my customer, my top customers, high, wide, and deep. High is certainly more senior level C-suite type work, uh, relationships, uh, as well as operational level relationships. Wide is functional area relationships uh, that we want to make sure we have in multiple pillars within the organization, functional pillars in our client. And, and deep is, is more than one, is to obviously, you know, always have more than one. Account management as a process, we think about what does it mean in our account management program? What are those things that we're doing on an ongoing basis that repeat themselves? For example, we know segmentation repeats itself. We know having a, a structured or formal team construct infrastructure repeats itself. We know that having a strategic account plan and opportunity management, business reviews and external business reviews are six components of an account management process that all should repeat themselves on a cyclical basis. So when I look at my account management program, what are the core elements of it that repeat themselves? that I can measure and that are predictable. In opportunity management, when I think process, is, is how are we going to go from sort of a, a qualified lead or a business opportunity with a customer and quantify the, 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 the probability of this lead or opportunity and, and how is it going to reach fruition and turn into revenue. What are those stages? What are those qualifiers? What are those high value activities within the opportunity management process that we want to make sure again are predictable, repeatable, measurable? Now, a very important point about the opportunity management process. Opportunity management is, is a component of account management. That's very important to understand and process because if we, when we execute our account management process very well, we will see a, a significant improvement in our pipeline of opportunities. Effective account management creates opportunities versus one-off opportunity management, which we, we somewhat discourage. I still want to maintain my best practices process around selling. And what I mean by that is the actual engagement, in some cases, one-on-one. -on -one. How do I actually engage with a customer from understanding their needs, uh, the, the, the future, the discovery process, 
as well as how do I then link my solutions, uh, sometimes I'll refer to the feature benefits, values, and implications of those values to my customer. So I want to sustain a selling process, which is probably more of a on-call or on-phone engagement type uh, conversational model. And finally, the last process I'd like to speak to today is probably one of the more important and evolving processes going on today, which is really my selling, uh, value selling process. And that's the process by which that I can have some methodology, uh, a platform, if you prefer, to help me quantify the impact that my solutions are having or could have on my top of customer. Do I have a value selling process or approach where I can, on, on a periodic basis, uh, meet with my customer and, and repeat uh, or share with them how, uh, how we're quite often impacting them financially? And in, in the value selling process, we always talk about three critical ways that suppliers impact their customer, certainly with expense reduction, helping their customer avoid cost, and in even helping their customer increase their revenue and margin. So as I tune up my strategic account management program, there are at least five critical processes I want to make sure are, are, are linked together but are ready to go. Again, the relationship management process is critical. The overall account management process, opportunity management, my selling or engagement one-on-one, -on -one, face to face or phone model process, and the way I deliver value, my value selling process. Executing these five processes, again by definition, predictable, repeatable, measurable, on an ongoing basis, will guarantee that you will have a very successful year. My challenge to you is check on your processes. If they're not there, tune them up. Get more information on account segmentation and how to optimize the enterprise customer lifecycle on our website at chapmanhq.com. Also, subscribe to our video series at the metricschannel.com 